Here's the design that we will print on t-shirts. Big design on front. And smaller logo on the bottom left side of the t-shirts. This is the positive for the color white. We will color it with black. And we will put a 1mm white outline on the rows. Look closely on the edges of the rows, because of the white outline the edges reduces by 0.5mm. Then color it with black. You can see here that our design positive is bigger than the paper. That's why I put an L mark here and here. I will connect it later when I tile the design on the screen with photo emulsion. Then I will duplicate the positive. And on this second page I will put the bottom part of the positive. I will connect this L marks later when I tile the positives on screen with photo emulsion. By the way on page 3 is the smaller design positive for kids. I will color the design with black and I will put a 1mm outline on the red rose. Notice the edges of the red rose reduced by 0.5mm because of the outline, then I will color the rose with black. On the fourth page are positives for the roses. And the small logo for the left side bottom of the t-shirts. Then we will print all the positives. Set the document size. The paper's orientation on landscape. The quality on high, and click grayscale. Then print. By the way I'm using Epson L120 printer. The paper I'm using are ordinary papers and the ink of the printer is also ordinary ink. After printing the positives we will prepare the screens that we will use. I already prepared screens for this project. I will be using this photo emulsion. This sensitizer. And this is also photo emulsion. We will add more photo emulsion to it. Use cut cardboard to scrape photo emulsion on the mouth of the container. Then add sensitizer. I usually add 10% sensitizer but I don't use measuring cup anymore I just estimate. You can also base it on the color of the mixture after adding the sensitizer. Stir the mixture. Because of the sensitizer the photo emulsion reacts to the light. The part that is being exposed to the light hardens and the part that is covered by the design is the part that is being washed off during washing. I will use the scoop coater in applying the photo emulsion on screens. Pour substantial amount of photo emulsion on scoop coator and apply it on the screens. By the way I'm using 100 mesh silk screen. Return the excess photo emulsion in the container. Use the cut cardboard to scrape the photo emulsion. Turn off the lights and wait for the photo emulsion on screens to dry. Then we apply second coating of the photo emulsion. Pour photo emulsion on scoop coater, and apply photo emulsion on the screens. This second coating will ensure that our screens are properly coated with photo emulsions. Return the excess photo emulsion on the container. Turn off the light. And wait for the photo emulsions on screens to dry. Then. We will set up the positive on screens. Center the positive on the shirt pad. Mark the location of the positive on screen using a ball pen. Centering the positive on shirt pad will ensure that the design will always land on the center of the t-shirts. To adhere the positive on screen we will use this cooking oil. Pour cooking oil on the screen, spread the cooking oil using the forefinger. Trim the positive first. The screen is facing the table so the positive should be facing the table too to prevent reverse screen stencil. Pour cooking oil on the bottom part of the screen. Use forefinger to spread the oil. Trim the bottom part positive.
then tile the positive. Tiling is used when the design is bigger than the paper. Align the L mark to accurately tile the design. Use the forefinger to remove trapped bubbles between the positive and the screen. Sometimes they're part of the edges of the paper that is wavy, if it happens make a cut on this part to flatten it. Then we will set up the smaller design positive on the other screen. Center the positive on the shirt pad. Using a ball pen mark its location on the screen. Pour cooking oil on the screen and spread it using the forefinger. Again, the screen is facing the table, so the positive should be facing the table too to prevent reverse stencil. There is a space below the screen. We will put the rose positives on this part. Trim the rose positives and put it on this part. Again. The screen is facing the table so the rose positives should be facing the table too. Remove trapped bubbles using the forefinger. Then we will put the small logo positive on the bottom part of the first screen. Trim the positives. Pour cooking oil and spread it using forefinger. Put the positive on screen facing the table. Add oil if necessary. Arrange the positives and remove trapped bubbles using forefinger. Because of the cooking oil the unprinted part of the paper becomes transparent, wherein the light can pass through and expose the photo emulsion underneath, while the printed part which is also the design blocks the light creating the screen stencil. Let's develop the screens by exposing it to sunlight for 10 seconds. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 1010 then the second screen. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 1010. Then we will wash the screens. I will use a water hose in washing the screens. First, wet the inside part of the screen. Then, remove the positives and spray the screens with water. The water will soften the unexposed part which is also the design. While the exposed part or the part that was being exposed to sunlight should harden and will not be wash off. You will notice that the unexposed part is lighter in color and the exposed part is darker. Continue spraying the screens with water, after a few minutes the unexposed photo emulsion will slowly wash off the screens. Alternately spray the screens target the designs. Adjust the faucet if necessary to control the water pressure and use the finger to control the blow of water. Here you will notice that the unexposed photo emulsion is really soft now. By spraying the screen continuously the designs are beginning to clear now. This time look closely to the design. Target unwanted photo emulsion so that the openings or the designs are really clear. The paint will pass through this opening so it's really important that these openings are clear from scums. Using a cotton rug we will remove trapped water on the openings of our screen stencils. Sometimes this trapped water is sticky and can still block the openings of the screen stencils if not removed properly. Then wait for the screen stencils to dry, we will apply photo hardener to make our screen stencils tough and durable. This is a photo hardener. Wet cotton ball with a photo hardener and rub it on the screen. By the way there are photo emulsions that don't need a hardener, but this dichromate photo emulsion that I'm using needs a hardener. Then the other screen. Wait for the photo hardener to dry then we will tape the edges of the screen stencils to prevent paint leaks when used. I will be using this packing tape. By the way you can also use other kinds of tape like masking tape or scotch tape. After taping the edges of our screen stencils we can now start the printing of the t-shirts. We will use this small pad in printing the small logo on the bottom left part of the t-shirts.
and this plastic squeegee. We will use this red water based rubberized paint. Put small amount of red paint on the screen stencil and let's begin the printing. I set up chairs beside me so that I can easily go back and forth to do the printing and the hanging of the t-shirts. The small pad provides cushion making the application of paint on t-shirts even and thicker. When using rubberized paints the thicker the application of paint the better. I like this kind of two color printing project because it's easy to do. Because the logo is small you can put more than 40 t-shirts on these three chairs. Aside from that, the printing consumes small amount paint, saving you money on paints and increasing the profit. By the way I have a video on mixing paints, just click on the suggested video on the top right corner of this video. This will give you an idea on how I mixed my paints. Then continue printing until all the t-shirts are finished. Wait for the red paint to dry then we will print the second color white. We will also use the small pad in printing the white. And this small squeegee. Put small amount of paint on screen stencil and let's begin. This is a super white paint, this paint is also water based rubberized paint. Just like what I did earlier printing the first color red. I will put the finished t-shirts on the chairs beside me. Then we will print the second t-shirt. Silk screen printing is all about repetition. Repeat the process again and again, until all the t-shirts are finished. And what's good about this printing cycle is that the more you do it the more you become good at it and the faster you get the job done. By the way if you are wondering what kind of squeegee I'm using. It's plastic, if you want to know where I get this kind of squeegee you can watch my video on making a squeegee, just click on the suggested video on the top right corner of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for more videos. If you have any questions or suggestions just type it on comments below. Continue printing until all the t-shirts are finished. Then we will print the big design on front of the t-shirts. In printing the big design we will use this shirt pad. This shirt pad had dry table adhesive on its surface so that the t-shirt will stick to the shirt pad. Making the t-shirt stable. I used this pad when I'm printing two or more color on t-shirts. I will insert shirt pad in all the t-shirts first before we start the printing. Shirt pad is important so that the t-shirts are very still when we are doing the printing, we can easily print on the right spot because the t-shirts are not moving. I have a video on making a shirt pad, just click on the suggested video on the top right corner of this video if you're interested. For any comments or suggestions just type it on the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for more videos. We're almost finished inserting shirt pad on t-shirt, then we can start the printing. In printing the front design I will be using this bigger plastic squeegee. And this super white paint. Put paint on the screen stencil. And let's begin. I will put the first six finished t-shirts around me or close to me so that I can easily go back and forth to do the printing. This is the second t-shirt, once finished I will put this t-shirt around me. Including this third t-shirt up to the sixth t-shirt.
and on this 7th t-shirt I will put substantial amount of paint on top of the design so that the paint will not dry while I'm away transferring the first 6 finished t-shirts to another area to dry. Then continue printing. Following the same pattern of printing we did earlier printing the first 6th t-shirts until all the t-shirts are finished. Then wait for the super white to dry and we can start printing the second color red. In printing the red I will use a smaller plastic squeegee. Put red paint on the screen stencil and let's begin. Because of the shirt pad the t-shirts are very still, making it easier to spot the right location and print the red. In printing the red we will follow the same printing pattern we did earlier with the white. Print the first 6 t-shirts and stop on the 7th t-shirt to transfer the first 6 t-shirts to another area to dry. Then just continue printing following the same printing pattern we did earlier until all the t-shirts are finished. I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell for more videos. For any comments, questions, or suggestions just type it at the comments below. And that's it. Happy Silk Screen Printing.